This means I'm gonna have to do multiple rounds. I don't wanna have to do this again. I am on my way to my car. I happen to be in the valley and I just got a text from my client. She is getting induced. And so I need to run home, grab my meds, grab all my stuff, probably wash my hair, and then head to the hospital because we're gonna have a baby and I'm definitely gonna have to do this in the hospital. So I'll show you how that goes. This is crazy. I'm at the hospital and I'm in a public bathroom about to give these meds because I have nowhere to go. so gross. I hate putting my stuff down in public places. This is not working. Oh my gosh. I don't like this. Ugh. This is so Disgusting. I don't think I can do it here. I'm freaking out. I just, ugh, all I see is COVID. Yeah, but there's people here. Okay, this is where it is. This is where we're doing it, guys. My ice packs. So I'm gonna do my Lupron first because I know how to do this one. The other ones, this is my first time doing these other ones. It's gonna be interesting. Oh, so gross, so gross, so gross. I look like a drug addict. Somebody just walked in here and they like <laughs> gave me like this very scared look because I literally have syringes out on this thing. So these are all the things. Lupron first. I'm gonna clean that off. This one's easy. Done this a million times. <laughs> By a million, I mean three. So I've done this quadrant, this quadrant. Now I'm on my right side. 20 units. Two fingers. I see the spot here. I'm just gonna, one, two, three. Okay. One down, Lupron in. Menopore and Omnitrope. <sighs> Let's do the Folly Stim, cause that one's easy. Folly Stim comes in here. It's been in the fridge and I already preloaded it on my call. So, basically pull out my pen. So this is the cartridge that has like the pokey thing in it. I need a needle. <laughs> I'm gonna pull out this. Load up the cartridge. I can't believe I'm doing this in a public bathroom. This is insane. <laughs> what is happening? Okay, so I'm gonna twist that on. So this is loaded. And then it has this little dial on it where I'm literally just gonna twist this part. Ooh. Oh my God, it's so much. 225, okay. So it says 225 on it, I guess. Oh my God, it's so much, like that's a lot. And it already is achy. Okay, new alcohol swab. I'm gonna find an area of my tummy. I can't believe this. What we do for the bibbis. Okay. Oh my God, that's a bigger needle. Look at this thing. Like, that's a legit needle. I'm so scared. <sighs> this is a bigger needle than the insulin needle. Just one, two, three. One, two, three. So I'm gonna stab it and then I push. Oh my God. Oh, I can't do it. Ooh, I'm lightheaded. Don't pass out. 
You're a nurse. One, two. I have like blurry vision. Oh my God, and there's a hair, that's gross. Ready, one, two, one, two, three. Oh, not so bad. Oh my God, but I'm pushing it in and it's not going. Ah! Oh my God. Okay. It bled a little. Okay, that was not that bad. <laughs> it actually, I feel like it almost felt better than and easier. The, it's really awkward to push in the end because this rolls, the yellow part rolls, and that part you just can't touch. Okay. Holy freaking moly. Ah. Oh my god, why is it bleeding so much? You're not supposed to rub sub cues. It's sore. Okay. Yeah, it's legit bleeding. So this needs to go back in the case. It burns like a mother. Ooh. Okay, okay. It's still burning. Ow. I don't like that one. So I did the menopore. I don't, even ha I don't even have my notes with me. This is crazy. I really didn't think I'd be doing this. Okay. So then I'm gonna take, this is the Menopore. Two vials of the powder to one liquid. Pop off the top. I put this little cap thing on. Thank God I don't have to use this needle. Imagine poking yourself with that. No, I'm sorry, no. Okay, so we take that off. Hi. <laughs> Don't mind me. Oh. <laughs> I'm just giving my medications. Can I, um. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Sorry, it seems like really a lot more crazy than it is. I'm freezing my eggs. Oh, Yeah, so okay. it's a whole lot of freaking injections. Oh, that's okay. cool. It's, I guess. One of these. I look so rough. By the way, I have been awake forever. I'm gonna inject it into the powder. Shake it up, I guess, or just suck it back in. And I want all of it. And then I'm gonna hold that off. Pop on the next one. She said it dissolves immediately and it really does. Like it's now it's just water. I think that's it. So then I have my 1ml of my mud, I hope. Get out the little bubbles. I need to preload it to, till I see a little bit of medication. Oops, that's too much. Oopsies. All right, so I'm ready. Okay, so this is the menopore. Okay, I'm gonna clean it off again. We're going lower this time. Dry. This one looks terrifying, by the way, but it's not. One, two, three. I'm gonna be braver this time. Show you how brave I am. One, two. One, two, and three. Oh my God, this one hurts. Holy mother effort, this is so much fluid. Ow, 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 ow. I'm only halfway in. Oh my God. It's like swelling up. Owie. Ow, ow, ow. Ow. That's it. Oh. I do not like that one. Oh. My God, oh my God. One ML is kind of a lot for sub Q. Ow, I gotta go, ah. Oh. Okay. One more. This is only taking me like 40 minutes. Okay. And then we have the OmniPure. I can get open. 
This is a disaster. Okay. 25 units of Omnitrope. One, two, three. Ouch, that one hurt more. Okay. That one wasn't so bad. Okay. All right, so that was my first round of all four meds this evening. Lupron, Menopor, Omnitrope, and Folly Stim. So I've officially now started my regimen. I will be doing this once a day. So there's one injection in the morning and then four at night until my egg retrieval. Honestly, the was it the Folly Stim? That one hurt, no, it was the Menopor. That one hurt. The rest of them, it's more like the psychological, like, one, two, three. Anyway, I did it. If I can do it, you can do it. Um, I'm gonna clean this up and I'm actually waiting for my patient to be out of her C-section. <laughs> so I'm gonna clean this up, put my mask back on, thank God, because I've literally been awake since yesterday. It's now like 10 p.m. Life of a birth, birth coach, I'm so glad I planned ahead. I was kind of hoping she wouldn't last this long, honestly, and that her labor wouldn't take this long. Obviously, so does everybody but I'm glad I brought these meds because I was sort of thinking I would leave them at home, like wishfully thinking she'd deliver. So I'm glad I had them. They're all done. One day down, however many more to go. Oh, that was so easy. Oh my God, I didn't even feel it that time. I'm getting good. So I'm sitting here working and I'm having like, I think my first side effects, like some serious like bouts of nausea. I don't think I'm gonna throw up, but it literally hits me like a wave where I'm like, whoa. And then dizziness, which I don't think I was expecting that. I know it was on a couple of the side effects list, but like I'll be sitting here and just kind of like, ugh. I'm also could be really tired. I was at a birth for the last like two days and barely slept to recover, but that's that. Totally manageable, but definitely the nausea, like as long as I don't throw up, I hate throwing up, I will be okay. Um, mind you, I also hope that it's not like a compounding thing that like over time, it just gets worse. <sighs> it's gonna be an interesting two weeks. So I'm just about to get some food, but I wanted to check in. It is now day five. It's Friday at 4 p.m. and I have had the wildest headache all day, I've had been drinking water, I've had caffeine, it might be lack of caffeine because they told me I can only have one cup a day, which for me, I literally like drink coffee, caffeine, energy drinks, Diet Coke, like all the bad things for you all day, every day. So it might be that, that that's why I have the headache, but I, it's definitely not dehydration. I'm gonna grab like a sandwich or something really quickly because I do have a dinner in a couple of hours, so nothing super big. See if that helps me, I feel, like dazed, like my head isn't totally here. Like I haven't had caffeine, but I've had caffeine. So I don't know. And then random bouts of nausea, but nothing intolerable. Like even when I take birth control and stuff, I get like really bad nausea and I don't really feel nauseous. So I feel fine. Otherwise I am um, not so bad so far. They, she said though that Friday, which is today, would be the first day that I start to maybe start to feel some things. And if the headache is related to the medications and I have a headache for the next week, it's gonna be rough because this headache is real intense and definitely slowing me down in my life. And then I'll give my medications tonight at dinner in public somewhere. So I also need to like wear an outfit that I can give, have like easy access to my tummy for it. And then we'll, we'll see, pack a cooler for my purse, I guess. <laughs> Flex and flow. So, guess what I brought? I'm so smart. Look. Okay. 
I am waiting outside because per COVID rules, the waiting room is full, even though it's not full at all. Their waiting room is like so beautiful and huge, but chilling, waiting for them to let me in to come do this ultrasound and repeat lab work. I learned last time that you definitely want to pee before a transvaginal ultrasound, so that's about to happen. Okay, round two. We're ready for this, but I'm watching the screen the whole time because I missed one of my ovaries last time and I want to see if I can see anything, so we will see. No big deal. Lots of pressure on my bladder and I'm so goopy again, so I gotta clean myself off. So my follicles looked significantly bigger. Not that I'm an ultrasound tech, but compared to what I saw before, they look huge. Um, ultrasound done, re repeat lab work done, so I'll hear what happened and if they need to change my medications, I guess, they will call me today because I really don't have like a regimen for this evening. So that's that. Um, I'm gonna go get some coffee because I haven't had my one cup that I get a day and then get to work and so far so good. I feel great, honestly. The medications, like, I don't feel horrible. I feel like, I don't know, like pretty normal. I feel a little bloated and they hurt, but past that, so far so good. We'll see how this week goes. So I'm sitting here and I just got a text from SCRC and they gave me my new regimen for my meds because I only had my regimen until today and then they were gonna do the ultrasound, look at my labs, decide what hormones I need and my regimen has actually stayed the same. So I'm assuming that's good. I'm assuming that it's working so we're gonna not fix what's not broken. I also feel like the bloating literally started just from sitting here. I was feeling really bloated last night, but I thought it was just my dinner. But I have on these biker shorts. I'll show you. And I can see. Oh my God, look at this. Yup, yup, I'm pregnant. Oh my gosh, I'm pregnant. But yeah, that, that is impressive. I know it seems small and dramatic, but I feel it inside. You know when you're swollen, like even in my face, I feel like, now I have to look at the viewfinder, like my face just feels puffy and tight. And so does my belly. So I'm about to take off my pants. We're just gonna go pantsless for the rest of the afternoon and that will make me feel a lot better. Okay. So anyway, I'm hoping for like 15 eggs. Okay. Well, that's what I'm gonna hope and pray for. Good. 16. Good. 16 is better. 16 is so much better. Yes. 17 for my birthday. Why not? Mm -hmm. Yes. 17. If I got 17 eggs, I would literally like fall on the floor crying. I would be so shocked. Mm -hmm. Anything double digits will be phenomenal. And I feel like I can see the silver lining of why my life is the way it is. Like, and to imagine having three kids doing what I'm doing today, there's absolutely no way. Right. It's not even an, a thing. So I see that and that feels like, okay, like I feel, I, I have comfort in that. Um, yeah, it's that choosing gratitude, right? Yeah. But we, like, but we hold those two things sort of we hold both those up we choose the wow this is the blessings of my life you know i'm so grateful for this you know and if i'm honest these are things everybody has them losses in life and things that you can't live there all the time or you just get super depressed right so you acknowledge it and then you practice gratitude and you're good at that yeah and especially with this i feel like i i have acknowledged that I'm frustrated, but like if I, I like I literally if I allow myself to stay there for anything more than like one minute, then I just get really emotional and upset. <laughs> yeah. And probably having a good cry would be a bad thing. And then you take a breath and you say, okay. It's a well, Dad. We're wellers. Be well. But once in a while, it's a good thing when the dam breaks. Woo! <laughs> and then you're like. Hey, wow, that was cleansing, right? I mean, in, in theory. Maybe. Maybe. I'm not a very good crier. I'm sure though by next week on these medications, I may feel that way. Okay. So we'll see. 
I appreciate your prayers. And yeah, it's, it's not what I expected for my life. And I understand, but at the same time, like I don't understand. I'm like, hello God, what the heck? Which would probably, most people if we're honest, would, would have both those things. Yeah. Even with a spiritual perspective, there's things I'm grateful for, there's things I just don't understand. I just don't get. And sometimes that drives me crazy or I feel frustrated or angry. And other times it's like, okay, I think, I think I'm, you know, I can trust. I can trust that you're good. I can trust that you have me, right? Mm -hmm. That ebb and flow, right? That's yeah. And I do, I just, I also feel like this is a great opportunity for me when I have the information. I also am responsible to know that like, to the information of having and knowing that my egg count is low and that I, that I, I am getting older, <laughs> you know? Well, I will keep you posted. Love you. Love you. Thank you. Welcome. Talk to you. Ciao. Yep. Okay, bye. I have the best parents. He didn't know I was recording that. I just had happened to have my camera sitting right there and then realized like, oh my gosh, we're talking about this. I should record that. Um, and they have the best. I literally like, having the right support is so important and I'm so grateful for my parents. They've just been nothing but supportive this through this whole thing. Even though it kind of seems like a weird thing and I come from like, I'm from a missionary family and like this is very LA of me and my family is not from here. So it may seem foreign to them but they've never let on to me if they're uncomfortable with it or they think it's weird or anything. So, I appreciate my mommy and my daddy. Okay, I'm back in the ultrasound room. The lab guy didn't want me to, to do him, so I'm just gonna take off my pants really quickly here. Everything from the waist down per usual. And ultrasound number three coming up today. They looked bigger this time. I know nothing about ultrasound, so I shouldn't even be trying to interpret, but we can't help ourselves, right? Hey, gonna go see about payment. They already did my labs. My follicles look so much bigger, which I think is the goal. And I don't know if I'll get results or not, but then they'll adjust my medication regimen tonight. Hi, Sarah, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Just wanted to go over a couple things, okay? Okay. Um, looks like looks like the um, follicles are beginning to grow. You have one that's already like a mature size, around 20. Okay. But I don't go after one follicle when you have like four potential smaller ones. Okay. So there's not a tremendous amount of synchronization going on. Mm. You know, that's my goal, but it's sometimes bodies do what they need to do, and it's, 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 there's no way to control it. Yeah. So okay. we're going to hang in there and then hopefully those other smaller ones all kind of grow in a bunch together, which would be better for us. Okay. Not a tremendous amount of synchronization happening. Yeah, this is definitely the hormones. This means I'm going to have to do multiple rounds. I don't want to have to do this again. Hi. Hi. That is sound. Yeah, it's 
fine. I just got a call from Dr. Gadir. I had another ultrasound this morning and one of my follicles is ready and there's like four others in there that are not ready and so he's gonna wait for the four. Um, uh, but means I lost one probably. Uh, well, not yet. Because they're not growing stay. at the same rate. Stay, follicle, stay. <laughs> so I'm you down know, to six. Says we can speak to a mountain. Can't we speak to a follicle? You can speak to a follicle. That's right. I want yeah. all. We need to speak to all the follicles and all the like pre follicles. Yes, follicles and pre follicles. I feel like my ovaries are swollen. Like pressure in my two sides of myself. I don't know if that's actually a thing, but I feel like they are internally. <sighs> Slash I feel huge. But I guess that's just a part of the picture. My skin looks horrible. I knew this was going to happen. <sighs> I feel so bloated. That's about it. Honestly, like the rest of me, I don't feel extra emotional, maybe a little more irritable and just kind of like short, but nothing that like, you know, when you have PMS and your hormones like completely overtake you and you're like, I can't control myself. I don't feel that way at all. I'm just more like, this is crazy, but this is legit. The reality my skin never looks like this otherwise, like maybe like one or two here and there, but this has to be the hormones. Like there's, it has to be. All right, so they're going in for my uterus and looking for the nice healthy endometrial lining and so he's pointing out like oh yay someday my uterus will be ready for baby inside and it looks good now and now we're going to that's what expands and now we're going to my right ovary i believe it was i think that's my slacker one and we see one big black spot there which is the follicle and so they're measuring that. He said that he wants it to be 20, 20, and it was 18, I believe. So he's like, it's getting there. Yeah, good job, yay, ovary. And then he's looking for a cluster. He only sees the one in that one ovary. So we need all of them to mature. And then he was all like excited about this ovary because this is my producer ovary. So that big black dot is another follicle. There's a big one. He's gonna have her scan out. You can see, oh, there's the, there's the little guy. There they all are. See the little dots that keep appearing? So he was happy with this one. He's like, I don't like to play favorites, but I, this is my favorite. And I said, that is my favorite as well. I love that ovary. So he's looking, see the little bit, the black dots appear. Looks like a face right now. That's funny. Um, there's no child inside of me. And so he's measuring and then see there's my big guy whoa big one big one huge one you said that i'm happy with that one but unfortunately the rest of them i'm not going to go in for like one that size which is crazy i need them to swell i need them to get big and juicy like my big one follicle that really loves life right now and then the other ones he said are growing they look good we'll give it some more time this is a waiting game. I'm basically growing a harvest inside of me. He asked if I had any questions. Whoop, there we are, out the vagina. And I said, you know, what's the plan? He said, well, I have to look at your estrogen levels and your follicles and like look at them all lined up and then see from there to make a decision as far as when we go in for them. So he, I said, is it gonna be this week? And he's like, yeah, we're, we're looking at this week, probably. So, yay. On baby dance, this is my baby Ooh, dance, yes! I don't even know where my locations are anymore. We're just going for it. Anywhere I feel. That doesn't look bruised. <laughs> Do 
Lupron. Check. Bad spot, bad, bad spot. Oh my God, ow. Two weeks in, both of these Sharps containers are like jam packed full. We've been doing the thing. I've been very compliant with my medications. Ah, oh. no good. One more day down. At least one more to go. I felt like I needed to do something for myself. And I really would like to get a mani putty because I haven't done that in so long. And that was usually like my self care thing that I did every two weeks. I would smile, but that would just mess everything up. My skin is literally falling off. I don't think that's because of the hormones. I think that's just my skincare. Um, so I'm doing a hydrating mask and I just got off the phone with Gabby, one of SCRC's nurses who was so helpful and just talked me through. I'm adding extra Lupron tonight and tomorrow and I think Thursday, I can't remember. It's election day. I'm just gonna have some good food and answer some emails and do like some low key work and not put a lot of pressure on myself. That's the plan for tonight and increase my Lupron. Give myself some more of that. Lay here naked while I hydrate my skin. <laughs> Guys, it's my first positive pregnancy test of my life. <laughs>